Tottenham Hotspur. Honestly and truthfully, one of the biggest letdowns when it comes to professional sports teams I have ever seen. If you're familiar with the Premier League, you're probably familiar with the term the Big Six. And if you're not familiar with the Premier League, essentially what that means is the top six biggest clubs in England. It includes the likes of Liverpool, Manchester United, Manchester City, Arsenal, Chelsea, and Tottenham Hotspur. The difference between Tottenham and the other five teams included in the Big Six is those other teams actually win trophies. The best comparison I can actually make to Tottenham Hotspur is they're like the chair that sits in the corner of your hotel room. And now, when it comes to Tottenham, I feel as though year after year, I have an expectation that they will actually compete with the top teams and... I don't want to say I feel let down because I, I really could care less how good Tottenham does, but nevertheless, the expectation is not met. Going into this season, I had high hopes of Tottenham and Ange Postacoglu doing well this season, and so far, they played seven games, won three, drawn one, and lost three. They've lost just as many games as they have won. And now, don't get me wrong, Tottenham Hotspur are in a far better position than the likes of Manchester United are currently. They're just a team without a hope, and I think that that was represented on Tottenham beating United 3-0 at Old Trafford. But the difference between United and and Spurs, is at least United can rest on the laurels of past achievements. Tottenham Hotspur have actually been fairly decent in the past decade, right? In the year that Leicester City won the Premier League, Tottenham came in second, and a lot of people would probably recognize the fact that Spurs got a second place finish if it wasn't for the fact that they got that during a historic Premier League season. Additionally, Spurs got to the Champions League final in 2019, but lost to Liverpool. But if we're all being realistic here, they were very fortunate with their run out of games, and the fact that they were in a Champions League final, I mean, come on, who really thinks that Spurs were ever going to win that game? Yeah, year after year, I feel as though Spurs will actually be good, they'll actually impress, and it's not as though they have a lack of talent coming through their system. The likes of Harry Kane, Gareth Bale, Huang Min's son. Nevertheless, we saw both Gareth Bale and Harry Kane leave during the primes of their careers to go chase trophies because while they tried their best to win trophies at Tottenham, it just wasn't feasible. I really wonder what the changes that need to be made at Tottenham are, because I used to think it was just money. I used to think Spurs just actually needed to spend some cash in order to be successful. But this season, they spent a lot of money on Dominic Solanke, and I think that there's still time. I, I, I definitely think that there's a good player there, but it's not as if their big issue is the fact that they can't spend money. We know now Spurs can spend money, yet... The success is a letdown season after season for Spurs fans. If you look at this season, I'll be shocked if Tottenham make it into top four, which realistically should be something that Spurs push for every single year. Yet, at the end of the day, they are just Tottenham. They are a letdown. As I said, the chair in the corner of the hotel room. I feel bad for Tottenham fans. I feel as though it's a team that... If you're a, a local fan, you probably start, start supporting Tottenham because it was a local team for you to support. Or if you're a foreign fan like myself, you probably saw Tottenham at one point and you were like, you know what? That's a team that's not a front-running team. It's a team with a lot of promise. Yet, you've just been let down every single season, year after year after year. And I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not saying this to rile up any Spurs fans, but I actually have to take a step back and look at the big six and say, are Tottenham really that big? You look at every single team in the big six. Almost all of them have won major European trophies, such as the Champions League, outside of the likes of Arsenal and Tottenham. And at the end of the day, Arsenal are currently one of the best teams in the Premier League. They're a squad or a club that has been up and down over the past 20 years, but like United, they can rest on the laurels of past success, and they can look forward to the opportunity of future success. Tottenham, I don't know where they are. They've just been resting in mediocrity for what seems like the longest time. 
Is sacking Ange Postacoglu the right move? Who would Tottenham bring in to replace him? I actually don't know. I just think that the club needs a complete reset, a complete redo, because currently I'm looking at Tottenham, and I think that they're going to have another very, very mediocre season. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know every time I make a new video. Please leave a comment down below if you want me to cover any other different topics, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.